This is a 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona, and these are pretty rare. I'm pretty sure this is a real one, but uh, I'm sure there's clones out there, but it looks really cool. These were so radical looking. I mean, I think they said they had a thousand orders immediately once they announced this car. I mean, it was very, very popular. It has the 440 Magnum, I believe, red line wheels, and uh, it's just a very nice looking car. I love the quilted seats there and the... Uh, Nice wooden wheel, basic gauges there, and uh, you know these cars had the uh, they're introducing headrests at this point. You know in history it was uh, pretty cool, and uh, see the Charger badge there. This looks really great in the green. Love those red line tires. It's always a cool little touch. And there's the Daytona stripe and that enormous spoiler. I don't think anyone's ever made a spoiler that big on a production car since these cars. I mean, this and the Superbird, which came in you know, the next year in 1970, were both just absolutely massive. They said they made it that big because they didn't want to interfere with the trunk operation, and that wing is actually bolted straight to the subframe of the car. So, I mean, it's uh, it's on there pretty good, but, I mean, these things were fast. They actually tested these and got it over 205 miles an hour. Uh, really impressive. I mean, these, you know, were pretty quick, but I mean, I think, you know, the 440 Magnum and stuff like that, I mean, they had roughly 400 horsepower. So, I mean, not huge amounts of, uh, you know, power, but they were able to go really fast. Those reverse scoops kind of baffled a lot of people, but they actually helped with downforce. Everything about this car was aerodynamic. So yeah, that is the 1969 Dodge Charger Daytona.